It's that time of year. With Halloween looming, haunted houses are springing up across America. But one couple who visited a haunted house had a scarier time than they ever expected. They say they were subjected to a shocking mock rape. Ryan Carr and his girlfriend Sarah Lelinick say it happened at the Fright Fest haunted house in Akron, Ohio. This tall guy, he was in some sort of mask, it might have been Leatherface, I'm not quite sure, and he was pushing Ryan onto the bed. And I was like, hey guy, that's, that's my boyfriend, can you stop? And he said, well, he's mine now and I'm going to rape him. I was really uncomfortable for the whole thing. This is the boss man here. The owner of Fright Fest says and he is asked, shocked and appalled and has suspended several employees while he investigates shares. what happened. Even a mock rape scene has no place as part of any entertainment, he said in a statement. It's not the only haunted house attraction where the gore and screams get all too real. <laughs> Earlier this month, a 29-year-old man was stabbed with a real knife that his friend thought was a rubber prop at the Nashville Nightmare Haunted House. I need an ambulance here very fast. We've got a gentleman that's been stabbed all the way through his arm and he's passed out. Tell me exactly what happened. How did he get stabbed? He is a guest here. I haven't gotten a story about how it happened yet. Oh, wait, what was that? Here in New York City, oh I tried out the Blood Manor haunted house. Those eyes look really real. Owner Mike Rodriguez says his staff have strict guidelines about how far they can go to frighten guests. Our actors don't touch anyone, ever. Okay. Uh, part of the rule is touch nothing and nothing will touch you. Got it. So you will not be touched. Uh, are there exits? Should you get really nervous? There are chicken exits located all over the place, and they can exit at any time if they feel uncomfortable or unsafe. Ah!